Hello everyone, this is Mr. Franz from Lincoln Park Middle School, and I want to go over what we're going to be doing, not just this week, but kind of even going into next week, the final week of school. At this point, you should have finished Nothing But The Truth, the book about Philip Malloy and Miss Narwin, and we want to go ahead and look ahead a little bit at the final thing that we're going to read and how that's going to turn into an assign a couple of assignments for us here. The last story that we're going to read is called Ricky Ticky Tavi. It's very famous and very popular. Uh, it's a story about a young mongoose. I'm going to show you in a minute what a mongoose is, who keeps a human family and a number of animal friends safe from a cobra. So that is what it is going to be. Let's take a look at a couple things real quick here. We're going to review a couple of concepts here. One is the elements of fiction, especially focused on plot. I want to talk a little bit about what a compare and contrast essay is like. You've all, if you've been in our school, done one before. I want to talk about integrity again. Okay. And I know that there are going to be some questions about the story as we go, like what is a mongoose? Uh, below, I'm going to give you some links, and they're actually going to be on Google Classroom soon, where you can see the whole thing of a couple of interactions in real life between a mongoose and a snake. Let me show you a little preview here. If you take a look. But the mongoose is persistent and on the hunt. When the mongoose moves into attack, the cobra strikes and misses. Mongoose and a snake having a full-blown fight in real life. Now, you're going to get a chance to watch that whole video later where you can actually see you know, that interaction happening and see what that's all about. Let's take a look here. So a mongoose fighting a snake is one of our main things in the story. Mr. Franz, what are the English teachers asking us to do with the story Ricky Ticky Tavi, other than read it? Well, one, you're going to listen to this lesson today from me and complete the review on a Google form. You'll see that on Google Classroom. Two, you're going to need to listen to the short story, Ricky Ticky Tavi, which is not a very long story, but it's a little bit longer than some short stories you've seen before. Then you're going to have a couple of options on the plot of Ricky Ticky Tavi with what to do. And I'm going to give you those directions later. Next week, that is like in a week, you're going to watch the cartoon movie version of Ricky Ticky Tavi, because there is one. And then you're going to write a compare and contrast essay comparing the written story version to the cartoon version. And you're going to show how integrity applies to the story because uh, Ricky Ticky Tavi does show integrity and I think you'll sort of see that real easily as you go. But that's going to be there. Now it's a lot to take in. There's going to be a lot. But we're going to walk you through it day by day. Let's take a look at what we have for you next. Okay, let's talk about a few elements of fiction. If you know these... You are good to go. If you don't know these, you're going to need to learn them again. Characters are the who of the story. I would say the people of the story, but in Ricky Ticky Tavi, some are animals. So the characters are the people or the animals or whoever are the people in the people that are driving the story. Setting, going all the way back to second and third grade, is simply the where and when of the story. Plot is going to be all the events in the story, but I'm going to come back to that one. Conflicts are the problems of the story. Climax is the turning point or the most exciting part of the story. Resolution is the ending or the solution of their problems. And theme is the sort of lesson or moral that people learn in a story. Let's take a look at one of them a little bit more in detail. You must know this to do our assignments. Follow my mouse down here. Uh, in a plot, you have different parts. The exposition, the conflict, the rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the resolution. Take a look down here. At the beginning of a story, you have an exposition. That is the beginning and it simply introduces the characters and the setting. Then you have a conflict, some sort of problem. Perhaps Ricky Ticky Tavi will find out that there is a problem in his story. You'll learn that very quickly. 
Then you have a series of events called the rising action. And I go up like that because everything gets more tense. Things happen that make things worse. We reach the climax. The climax is the highest tension point, the most exciting part of the story. The good guy meets the bad guy, and they're about to have their fight. So maybe Ricky Ticky Tavi will meet up with a bad guy, an antagonist, you know, some kind of villain, and they will be about to have the big fight. The falling action is everything after the climax right away. You get a big fight, and everything leads towards an ending, and it's very quick. It is like going over a roller coaster. You get very excited at the top of the roller coaster, and then it falls down, and it's exciting and thrilling. Ricky, maybe you'll fight some bad guy. Then you have the resolution, which is sometimes called an ending. The problem is solved, and the story ends. Let me review one more time. The beginning of a story or plot is called the exposition. Then there's a conflict, followed by a bunch of rising action events that leads up to a climax or exciting part. Then there is a very quick falling action where a bunch of exciting things happen really quickly. And then some sort of resolution, sometimes called the ending. You'll need to learn this in order to be able to do our assignments. Now, as we continue on, you're eventually going to watch the cartoon version of Ricky Tikki Tavi. And the cartoon version is going to be asked eventually for you to compare and contrast uh, the differences and similarities. Now, to compare two things is to, let me just move this down to the corner for you guys so it's not distracting. I'll move that up there. To compare two things is to tell how they are the same. So we might ask you, how is the comic, ver how is the cartoon version, excuse me, of Ricky Tiki Tavi the same as the story version that we read? And I bet you can come up with a few ways it is, because it's actually pretty similar. Contrast. How are they different? What do they not have in common? Now, this is important. If you do not read the Ricky Tiki Tavi comic, uh, if you do not read the story, you cannot tell the differences because the ca cartoon version is not, the, is not the same. So you will need to do both in order to understand. You will be asked what is the same and what is different. You will also be asked about integrity, uh, which is the quality of being honest and having strong moral principles, doing the right thing when somebody is watching and when somebody isn't watching. Okay, so you're going to need to be able to understand the differences uh, between this, the, the, the written version and, this, and the cartoon, and also be able to talk about the integrity of the story. Continuing on. All right, what are some of the assignments that you are going to have to do? Well, you're going to do today's Google form, and that's not going to take you very long. Then you're going to do the following after you read the story. You're going to have options. Option number one, Option number two or option number three, you do not have to do all of them. You must choose option one, two, or three. If you do all three, you do not earn extra credit. If you do two of them, you do not earn extra credit. Pick one and do the one that you pick. All right. Option number one is to take Ricky Tiki Tavi and create a comic strip using the website Storyboard That. Now on Storyboard That, you may remember using that for Percy Jackson. I know that um, I, Mr. Franz, and my students made a chapter Storyboard That, uh, probably more than once actually, but at least once when you were divided up to do a chapter together as a group, you had to create a little Storyboard comic version of it. Well, we're going to ask you to do the same thing for Ricky Ticky Tavi. This is option one. In fact, I think if we were in school, this would be the option given to you. We're going to give you some other options because we're not in school a regular way. It has to be six panels long, one of exposition, two of rising action, one climax, one falling action, and one resolution. There will be directions in Google Classroom, and there will be some screenshots uh, showing you how it goes. When you, after you create your comic on Storyboard That, you'll screenshot it and you will submit it through Google Classroom. 
That is a lovely option if you like to use computers, if you've used Storyboard that. If you're familiar with it and you want to do that, yes, you can create a mongoose. Yes, you can create all the different animals in there. If you are not familiar with that and you can't figure it out, listen, that's okay. Option number two, create a comic strip, but do it on paper where you draw. Same six panel requirement. You'll need to take a picture with your phone or with mom and dad's phone or with your computer or laptop or tablet and turn it in. Uh, so storyboard that's nice because you don't have to draw. Honestly, even if you love storyboard that, you could still choose to draw your comic if that's what you want to do. I'll show you real quick. That's what my daughter did. This is my daughter's Ricky Tiki Tavi comic. Don't look at spoilers. I'm kidding. You can peek. Hers is more than six panels. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, plus a couple of bonus ones. She did this just for fun. She did not label them with the plot parts, exposition, climax, because she wasn't in my class. She is my daughter. She's in fifth grade, and she read the story, and she did this, and that's what she did. That's an example of a hand-drawn comic. Uh, yours doesn't have to be as complicated as she went. Mr. Franz, I don't want to do storyboard that, or I don't know how. Two, comic, I don't know. That's kind of a pain. I don't know how to do that one either. I'm not very good at that kind of thing. You could do option three. Option three, well, it's a Google document with reading comprehension questions and a paragraph response at the end, and there will be directions of that on the worksheet. If you choose to do that, that is fine. I think teachers kind of want one of the other ones, but you know what? If you want to do that and you want to go through all of the written responses in complete sentences and you don't want to do the artwork whether it, or whatever, that's an option. We're making you have options because you're at home. You're not at school right at this moment. We understand that. So we're trying to make things work for you where you can do it different ways. You do not have to write your teacher saying you can't use storyboard that. If it doesn't work, do it by paper. If you don't want to do it by paper, do your Google document. You have options. There are going to be some step-by-step -step directions that are going to be shared to you in a Google document to how the website works. Um, I'm going to show you down on the bottom. If you look real quick here, here is what it's going to look like. It's a little comic thing here. Uh, I can open it up real quick like this. Mrs. Stabile's gone through and made some directions for you. Let's let that load. And it's going to be this. Here's some directions. And down below, she has laid out. We're going to give these to you. Exactly the layout of how to use storyboard that. You can see it's like a comic making website. It's, she's going to show you how to create all six panels on these directions. She's going to show you how to add all of the images and backgrounds. And if you use her directions, you'll be able to add. It looks like she had. Look, she had a little mongoose here. I, it sort of looks like a mongoose, doesn't it? Okay. And how to go through that process. At the very end of her directions, it tells you how to take a screenshot to turn into Mr. Franz, Mrs. Stabile, Mrs. Bellamore, Mrs. Holling, Mrs. Cunningham, excuse me, or Mrs. Guyatt. If this does not work, you may do it by hand or you may choose the other option. But there, these directions will be posted for you to read. Okay. So there are storyboard that directions. And if you're already familiar with it, awesome. That's a great choice. Today, let's look at what's coming both today and in the future. Today's June 1st. You have my lesson right now. There's going to be some mongoose videos where mongooses in real life fight snakes in a Google form to answer some questions on. Very simple. I think it's four or five questions. Tomorrow is Tuesday. And following that day, Wednesday, you will read and listen to Ricky Ticky Tavi. You must read this story. Do not skip it. <laughs> you can't. Thursday and Friday, you will complete either the comic strip task, maybe on paper, maybe on storyboard that, or if you choose, the Google document questions. Next Monday, June 8, that is in a week, you will watch the cartoon. That's, that's a really easy day, right? Just watch a video, kind of like today, just, except it's even better because it's not me. Just a cartoon. Tuesday and Wednesday, you will compare the cartoon 
to the story, and you'll talk about integrity from the story. And then it says on the bottom something important. Your English teacher, Mr. Franz, Mrs. Bellamer, uh, maybe Mrs. Cunningham, Mrs. Hall, or Mrs. Stabile, and Mrs. Guyatt, will add an item next week as we wrap up school. Uh, because next week we'll wrap up school and we will have something there. And that might not be directly involving integrity and all those things. It might be a little different. Okay? So you have all these things coming. And let me give you some advice here. I'm going to talk about today's task in a minute. Do not skip today's video and check Google Classroom every day to find out what's going on and keep up with us. Today's task, there's going to be a Google form asking some questions. I think I can click it real quick here. I might already have it open. It's going to look like this. It is one, two, three, four, five, six, actually, with one being just an opinion question, okay, for you. Make sure that you do that today. It is real easy and a real easy way to get a nice, simple grade. Okay. This concludes the review or lesson, the sort of overview right now for you. I want to encourage you to keep up this week as we go. Things are going to be loaded up for you. I think you're going to love Ricky Ticky Tavi. You might think, oh, another story. This one's very popular. And I think you're going to like the cartoon next week as well. Have a great day. Have a great week. Show integrity. Stay safe and do what's right. Uh, we miss all of you guys and hope you have a great experience with the Ricky Tiki Tavi story.